Chapter 1. A Divorce That Could Happen Anytime Now. You are listening at FameTV.info. Chapter 1. A Divorce That Could Happen Anytime Now Translator. Endless Fantasy Translation Editor. Endless Fantasy Translation Some say marriage is the tomb of love. I don't care if it is the castle of love if there was no love to begin with, Yi Yue, the sun was shining over B city in the evening, the waiter had refilled Yi Yue's coffee several times. Yet, the person she was expecting did not show up. No one in the coffee shop said a word as they focused on the man on the television. Ji Yu Jueshi. He was not a renowned scientist, but played a decisive role in the field of science. He is the most unrestrained child one of B city, but no one would call him a Furidai too. He looked like he was derelict in his duties as a CEO, but had pushed his enterprise to a peak that it has never reached before, scientist, Furidai, CEO, any of those names were appropriate for him, but at the same time inappropriate. This man was a multi-talented genius that I in the news, he could be so easily spotted among the crowd. His black tux, tall and straight physique, and masculine face were the perfect creation of God. There was no word that could be used to compliment this man, his arm was gently held by a woman. The news on TV was about him and a famous movie star getting caught by the paparazzi at a hotel I'm sorry Mrs. Gu. Mr. Gu is in the middle of something, said Mr. Gu's personal assistant, just as the wind chime hanging at the door of the coffee shop sounded. Ye Yue looked up and saw the personal assistant looking awkward. She could hear the news on the TV speculating if the CEO of Gu Enterprise and the hotshot actress Yushar were dating and whether they were tying the knot. Looked like this was the something Mr. Gu was in the middle of, feeling even more awkward, the personal assistant lowered his head. The truth was, Mr. Gu never did plan to come. It had always been this way, please have a seat, PA1. Putting her emotions aside, Yi Yue smiled. Y E U A was really not one of the best. Looking, it was fair to say she was the least beautiful amongst the rumored girlfriends Gu Jueshi had. The only thing Yi Yue had that other girls did not have was probably her eyes, which was the only reason why Gu Jueshi agreed when his mother asked him to marry her. The personal assistant smiled awkwardly and took the seat opposite Yi Yue. Is there anything else I can help you with, Mrs. Gu? Mr. Gu has another appointment in the afternoon with, it's okay PA1. I don't need to know his schedules anymore. Yi Yue interrupted, looking down to hide the emotions in her eyes, she shouldn't have hoped the moment she learned the truth. PA1 was surprised. Yi Yue used to always ask for Mr. Gu's schedules. He couldn't remember when Mrs. Gu seemed to have lost interest in everything about Mr. Gu, this made P.A. when concerned that Ye Yue drew out some documents from her handbag and put it in front of P.A. when realizing what document it was, P.A. when was stunned. Mrs. Gu, you, Ye Yue smiled, feeling relieved as she saw the divorce papers in P.A. Wen's hands, please pass this to Mr. Gu, P.A. Wen. I myself have signed the papers. I can go to the registry for the divorce anytime at his convenience. Yi Yue realized that she has never been this relieved since she got married, she lived in her dreams and fantasy of the married life with Gu Jueshi during the first year of their marriage, she acted like a fishwife during the second year of their marriage scolding and swearing with hatred at the women around her husband. That was when their relationship began to turn sour, she learned a truth that she was not supposed to know during the third year of their marriage and stopped clinging on to him. It has been four years now and she was ready to let go, still stunned, P.A. Wen stared at the documents in front of him, not noticing that Yi Yue had left, outside the coffee house, the soft setting sun shone on Yi Yue's face as the warm summer breeze blew. Yi Yue smiled, it was not that difficult to set herself free. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.